Well, I'm excited to highlight for you in today's video one of London's most exciting and dynamic neighborhoods, so let's dive in. Hi everyone, Ugo Renze here with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. I love showing off London. I am a London-based property agent and we help clients buy, sell, rent, and manage into London. And discovering the neighborhoods is such a critical issue when it comes to figuring out where to live. And so in our series of area guides, we are going to highlight one of London's most dynamic and exciting neighborhoods and that is Camden. Camden is located in North London along Regent's Canal and it is one of the liveliest neighborhoods for London and really offers a mix of options and things to do for people of all ages. It's bordered by Regent's Park to the south with London Zoo, Belsize Park in the north and Islington in the east as well as Kilburn to the west. Camden is a great area to live and people love it not just for the culture and the arts and things to do but also for getting around. On the transport side it's located on the northern line at Camden Town and it's a key interchange for getting to Bank and Charing Cross branches of the southbound Northern Line. You've also got Chalk Farm not far away or the Morning Crescent Station also on the Northern Line. Camden Road offers the London Overground with easy access throughout London. Also there's lots of bus routes that run throughout Camden and you're not far from the A503 or the A400 for driving options. If water's more your style you've got options for canal boat rides on the canal from Camden Lock. Many of the handrails by the bridges show marks worn by the tow wraps by horses that pulled the canal barges until the 1950s. Speaking of history, Camden was named after Charles Pratt, which was the first Earl of Camden. Camden was on the Northwest Railway's terminal stop in 1837 and made a boom in the Industrial Revolution because of the industry offered. It was where goods were transported off the tracks and onto roads by the 250,000 workhorses. And the area was adapted for transportation function. For example, the Roundhouse, Camden Lock, and the Stables. In 1816, the Regent's Canal was built, and up to the 20th century, the area was actually considered unfashionable. Well, one of the reasons Camden is so known is for Camden Market, and that opened back in 1974. It's got small arts and crafts fairs, and it's in the backyard of Dingwalls. It was originally temporary and only open on Sundays, but today it's the largest market in London and open seven days a week. It's got indoor and outdoor options and offers alternatives clothes, food, bars, and it's very busy. Opens at 10 a.m. daily. For arts and culture, Camden is definitely known for its street art scene. You can go along, guided walks are available, and you'll discover the hidden gems throughout Camden. It goes back to the 1980s and was influenced by New York street art. Where to find the best places for street art include Kentish Town Road, Bam Street, Buck Street, or Stuckley Place where there's a lifelike monkey mural by Nasher and appeared in 2018. Also, there's an Amy Winehouse street tour trail. Here, it celebrates Amy Winehouse who lived in Camden and she worked at the market before she became famous. Find her bronze statue at the Stables Market, which goes back to 1854. For clubs, there's the Jazz Cafe, which is an intimate venue where jazz, soul, reggae, and international artists get to perform. It's located on the parkway and includes pub nights. There's also a restaurant on the first floor where you can watch a show and eat and enjoy either light-sized bites or a more substantial meal. They also offer great cocktails, and that's open daily from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Also, there's the Round House, which is a former Victorian railway engine shed and located on Chalk Farm Road. Today it offers live music and is an alternative theater and arts venue. It's also a center for young creatives and a co-working space for 18 to 30 year olds who can share the workspace, attend social events, and enjoy free coffee, tea, and refreshments. Also there's Dingwalls, which opened back in 1973 and hosts bands including Foo Fighters, R.E.M., George Ezra, Coldplay, Blondie, and the Sex Pistols. It's canal side and has three bars, eclectic cuisine, DJ sessions, and live music and live bands, along with cocktails, open 11 a.m. to 3 a.m. Beyond those that we've highlighted, there's so many other venues to choose from, whether it's the Electric Ballroom, which is a live venue in a two-story building for dancing, 
or the Blues Kitchen, which is a New Orleans style restaurant and late night blues bar. Specifically for dining, let's highlight a few more choices whether that's the cheese bar located at the stables, and that offers cheese boards, fondue, and grilled cheese sandwiches, or Mildred's, which offers vegetarian food in a glass building on Jamestown Road. The energy is colorful and offers indulgent and interesting food options, and there's also cocktails available. Or perhaps Porky's is more your style, which is a barbecue every day from 12 p.m. Or if you're looking for the great Greek food, there's Alexander the Greek located on Plunder Street with a set lunch menu and fresh creations daily. For the property market, Camden is loaded with period properties set on wise tree-lined streets. There's also new builds that are coming about. And there's colorful houses located on Heartland Road, Kelly Street, Bonnie Street, or Chalcott Square. Properties in Camden had an average price of $1.227 million over the last year, and the majority of sales in Camden were flat, selling for an average price of £907,000. Terrace properties sold for an average of $2.17 million, and semi-detached properties fetched $3.17 million. Overall, sold prices in Camden over the last year were down 4% from the previous year, but up 7% on the 2017 peak of $1.14 million. For property options, there is a beautiful four bedroom, three bath terrace house currently on the market for two million pounds on Murray's Muse in NW1. It's a freehold property with two reception rooms, three floors, and Muse style, but does come with parking and a patio. It offers, also offers three roof terraces. It's named the house with many terraces for a good reason and was designed by threefold architects. It's got a very unique layout with a ground floor that has bedrooms, bathrooms, and utilities with the courtyard garden. And the first floor has a kitchen, dining room, and living spaces, along with a west-facing roof terrace. And the second floor has two additional spaces that could be used for bedrooms or studios, plus terraces front and rear. You'll definitely note the black modern exterior. The location is great. It's got access to two local schools, which is Brecknock, primary school or the Camden School for Girls and the local stations are Camden Town or Kentish Town. At 1,746 square feet it equates to 1,146 pounds a square foot. If you really want to go big on budget then let's highlight this five bedroom four bath end of terrace on the market for offers in excess of 10 million pounds. It's on Chalcott Square which is at NW1. It's a freehold grade two listed triple aspect home with Italianate Terrace Victorian house with views over the square. It's also got a patio garden in the heart of Primrose Hill, which is just next to Camden. It also includes air conditioning in the principal bedroom, underfloor heating, and a private balcony for the master suite. It has access to local schools, including Haverstock School, Primrose Hill School, St. Paul's Church of England Primary, and the Village School. Local stations include Chalk Farm, Kentish Town or Camden Town Station. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gotten a good sense of Camden, which is one of London's most exciting and dynamic neighborhoods. Make sure to drop me a message and tell me what part of Camden you've enjoyed. Have you been able to attend and view the market at some point? Make sure to leave me a message and let me know if you've enjoyed the video or have actually gotten to visit Camden for yourself and what's your favorite parts. If it's your first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video as we put out weekly videos on the London property market and living in this incredible city. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Orense with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.